I'm going to take a picture of this because it's beautiful. <laughs> Hi, my name is Yuande, I'm the NYT cooking contributor, and today I'm making two different tofu dishes. Tofu is a favorite ingredient of mine. I think of tofu as like a blank canvas. You could change it or alter it depending on how you cook it, and you can flavor it literally any way you want. With highlighting tofu in these two recipes, I was trying to lean into it as itself and not necessarily presented as a meat alternative, which often it's presented as that. The first recipe, the peanut glazed tofu, I was looking to create some balance with combination of creamy, fatty peanut sauce with an acidic pickled pepper. So for this dish, I'm using extra firm tofu. A really important thing about this recipe, you really want to get the tofu nice and dry because that's going to help the tofu hold up better. It's going to help the tofu crisp up better if it's not damp or wet. I'm going to start by making the peanut sauce. So I'm starting with one cup of peanut butter. You can use a crunchy peanut butter, but I don't know, that's not the texture I'm going for, so I prefer smooth, but feel free to use crunchy if that's your thing. It looks really thick, but this is all going to be fixed with some water. You're looking for like a viscosity, like honey. So that's, you want it to run off your spoon or your spatula. So one way to glaze the tofu, use a spoon and like spread it over the tops. I find the spoon easier. I don't really want to get it all over my hands, so. And there's no right way to do this. Just make sure the top is covered. Oh, I think something that I didn't do was season the tofu, which I forgot to do, but I will season it once I get this glaze on it. And then the last step is to drizzle with a little olive oil, but that's gonna help the roasting. That's gonna help with browning and all that caramelization that you really want. This is a really simple pickle. It's just lime juice and some sliced bell peppers. You let it sit and the acid makes it a little tender. While the tofu is in the oven, I'm gonna finish off the peanut dressing for the garnish on the dish. So it's really hot, but that's kind of what it looks like. The dressing has set and caramelized over the top. This is my coconut rice. You know, scallions have a little bit of a crunch, so I wanted to add that to give it some texture. This is watercress, and it adds that element of freshness. You can pair it with whatever is in season. I like a little bit more sauce. The peppers, I think, also add a nice color besides adding acidity. And that's it, really. I don't know if you can see this, but this is literally like the perfect bite. I really just want to scoop like that sauce on it and like stir it around and eat it. This is good. So this recipe is the crispy tofu with blistered snap peas. So I'm slicing it crosswise because I'm looking for surface area. I want to crisp up a large amount of tofu. So I'll lay the cut side down just to get more liquid out of it. While my pan's heating up, I'm going to season my tofu pieces. The surface that was exposed to the air is going to be drier than the surface I just cut open. I'm going to start with that surface first. And so that should go for about four minutes to get a nice brown crisp layer. So another four minutes and it should be this, about the same color on the other side. You can tell that's nice and crispy. So our tofu is seared on both sides and kind of just let that hang out over there. The next step is the snap peas. That's what you want to hear. You want a really hot pan. So this is kind of what you're going for. Nice blister. So I add the ginger, garlic, the coconut milk, and soy sauce and molasses. Really kind of thick, creamy sauce that's going to coat your tofu. If you want the sauce to reduce, the flavors get concentrated. You can break up your pieces of tofu into bite-sized pieces. I have a theory that like the jagged edges also help get the flavor of the sauce into the tofu pieces, which is why I prefer using my hands. I'm gonna dress my snack peas, some crushed red pepper for a little heat, little scallions, some rice wine vinegar, a little acidity. 
Let's see, my sauce is nice and reduced. And at this point, I'm just gonna stir enough to cook the tofu pieces. You could really serve it with any grain you want. And then you want this lovely, fresh, snack pea salad. But that's pretty much it. So you got your tofu, some rice, some snack peas for crunch and acidity. I could really taste the flavor of the sauce in the tofu, which is exactly what I wanted. That's good. Mm. That's a good dish. So I hope that these two different preparations of tofu will inspire you to like lean into the joys of tofu as an ingredient. It's something that's worth exploring.